Hey guys, I just want to make a quick video on this winch. This is one of those cheap winches that um, it, it's really called a drill winch. You have to connect a drill to it for it to spin. It doesn't have its own motor. And uh, I got this one on Amazon. Uh, this is it. From what I could tell, they're all the same. But what one thing I'm not sure of is the gear ratio because this one's supposed to be 500 to 750 um, not gear ratio you know uh, pulling power so I wanted to see how this thing worked because no one on YouTube or or the internet that I know of took one of these apart to show what's inside now if I knew the gear ratio I wouldn't have bought this because this only has what appears to be a 90 to 1 gear ratio so I guess when you add your drill um, which I'm not a hundred percent sure but I think a drill only has about 60 inch pounds of torque and I'm not sure of the speed of the drill because I I don't have one of those um, you know those little those guns that that monitor the speed and stuff like that but I'm pretty sure that a drill has about 60 inch pounds of torque now to run these and to pull a car I'm not even sure if this is capable of doing that definitely up a ramp because with only a 90 to 1 gear ratio and only one gearbox in here I mean not gearbox but one planetary gear system or whatever you want to call it um, I don't think that's possible um, what I do like is this this is very heavy duty right here it's very thick and it's steel and as far as I can see, it, it it doesn't appear to be casted. It's actually pretty decent, but I'm not 100% sure. I can't tell because there's grease on there. But anyway, this is this is nice. This is heavy duty. Uh, this the part in here, you know, the thickness of of the uh, let's say. This, this gear, we'll call it a gear, it looks like a gear that goes in here. It goes in uh, pretty deep, so it will definitely have the power to hold without, you know, breaking. And uh, this casing is aluminum. Okay, so this, this is aluminum, but it's just to hold the outer, the outer race or the outer gear, whatever you want to call it. Uh, let me take this out. Sorry, I'm not I'm not too familiar with these gears. So this is nice. Look how thick that is. I would say that's about a three quarter of an inch wide gear. Um, let's see. A lot of people want to know like the sloppiness of the gear. Let's see. I'll be honest with you. If I'm I'm pulling this gear up and down, it's probably only moving one millimeter if if that okay now let's see side to side not bad I mean I could it barely moves just about the same and uh, they appear to be smooth I, I don't feel any grinding or anything on the edge As you can see, they welded it in. So if you want to put grease on the shaft, which I don't know if they did or not, you would have to cut these welds off and uh, grease it up, you know. And that's that's a bad thing. I don't like that at all. The fact that they welded those together, because. Look, look at the amount of grease they put in here. It's hardly anything. It's almost like they wanted to fail. 
after a year. This way, you know, maybe you buy another one. I don't know what they're thinking. But anyway, so I'm holding this in my hand, okay? And, you know, I got, you know, my hands are not big. They're just medium. So this is how it looks, okay? It's not huge, but it's got, it's got some weight to it. And um, the gears don't look like they're casted. They actually look like they're machined. They're nice and smooth. All right, so that's, uh, you know, there are some pluses here, but uh, the fact that it's only, you know, one planetary gear system in here, and it's only, um, you know, a 90 to 1 gear ratio, I don't like that. So, uh, then there's this other part in here, and this also looks like it's machined. It's, it's kind of smooth. Because some of these are built and they're casted, and I don't like that. I'll send them right back. This probably comes out, but I can't... I can't get it out. Maybe it's just stuck in there. Um, this gear here... This also looks like it's machine. No, doesn't look casted. I feel a little bit of roughness, though, on it. I know there's not that much light inside there, but see, I feel this. There does appear to be a little bit. Hold on one second. Let me see if I could touch it with the screwdriver and see if it. Yeah, so there is some roughness, you know, when you go on the teeth, but it could be machined. The inside of the teeth, I go like this, it seems to be smooth. Um. Let's see, the rest of it is just hardly anything. Uh, these, these look like an eight, uh, about one eighth of an inch thick. Near to here. Uh, it just has some little tubes going across for support. I don't like that because, you know, those could bend and twist. This, of course, is aluminum. I guess it's strong enough to hold up. But uh, this gear it goes in here. And it goes about halfway out. Because the other half of this gear has to connect inside here. I can't really tell you too much. Um, this thickness of this. Um, wait, you know what? I think I got my caliper in here. Yeah, I got an old caliper here. Let's see. You want another thickness? Does this still work? I don't even know if this still works. Okay, maybe it does. Right, let's see if we can measure this for you. Maybe you want to know. Some people. They connect the gear, you know, sprocket to here. So they want to know how thick it is. Now, this is not 100%, but it's around um, 1.73. So it's almost one and three quarter of an inch on here. Try it again. Okay, so the same thing. 1.73. It's just slightly under... One and three quarter. Let's switch to millimeters. Okay, so millimeters, it's 43.9. Okay. Yeah, it didn't move, so it's still... Um, well, I moved it now, but... 44... So it's it's like 43.9. If you move it like a hair, it goes to 44. Let's see, what else? Uh, you know, things I don't like about the winches. 
um, is let's get rid of this. The fact that they put this piece in here. This is all the pressure is on this plastic rim here. This plastic, uh, you know, bushing in here. This this lip here rides in there. I don't know why they can't put one big bearing. I mean, it looks like you could fit one big bearing on here. I'm thinking of maybe I'll look some up and see if I can get a bearing, a really thin bearing. And then what I'll do is I would uh, get a tube or something that the bearing could go into. Then I'll weld the tube around here and then I'll pop the bearing in there, take these out. I think the winch will be a lot smoother and it'll last a lot longer because once this wears out, it's going to put massive pressure on these gears. Let's see, what else? I don't know. That's about it. Um, the rest of the stuff I took out is in here. model number so I don't know they they do have one and they say it's 750 pounds to a thousand pounds and it looks exactly the same it weighs exactly the same so that's probably a lie because I think there's only one seller selling that winch and I think he wants people to buy the winch I don't think it's a thousand I don't think it's even 750 so don't waste your money you know and spend 130 150 175 because if you go up to 200 then you might as well buy a worn winch w a r n because those are 220 dollars and those are five to 750. So, I'm going to probably put this thing back together and then make another video. I'm going to see if it can pull my car up the driveway. The driveway is on a slant. So, as soon as you put the car in neutral and you take your foot off the, the brake, uh, when the car is not started, of course, uh, the car rolls back really fast. So, it's, you know, it's, it's sloped pretty good. So, if this thing could pull that, then maybe it's pretty good. I'm only going to use this this uh, drill here. This one is um, not that good. It's just a cheap Ryobi. Right, but it does have the low speed on the top. Right. I think that's about it. Um, I just... I thought you guys want to see how this is made and you want to know the gear ratio and stuff like that so remember the gear ratio is um, about 90 to 1 okay that is garbage because there are winches out there just like this uh, they have them the motor built in and they have a 365 to 1 gear ratio so you know if you want to pull a car up a ramp you better get that one don't even bother getting this one this one is only good for pulling 500 pounds and it you know whatever you're pulling it on it might have to have a slippery surface or have wheels on it i'm not even sure if it could pull 500 pounds scraping on the ground so keep that in mind all right um that's about it so yeah there's nothing else really to show you so what it looks like in here. Alright, that's it. I'm just going to end it there. See you later.